The environments seen on Earth are not random and in fact have a method behind them. The forests, deserts, and all other known biomes are in the places they are seen thanks to a complex system of air currents, ocean currents, and the effects of the Earth's rotation that distribute heat across the Earth. So let's begin where this system is the most obvious, the equator. Here the sun's heat causes water to expand more than anywhere else on the planet. This creates a small slope that water flows down and this would be a simple process if it were not for wind. Thanks to the fact that air is not spread equally across the Earth, we have low and high pressure areas on the globe. Air wants to move out of high pressure areas into low pressure areas, and when it does so, we experience what we call wind. This wind pushes water along with it, and that combined with the sun affecting the density of water, we now have two of the three forces that affects where environments appear on the Earth. The third factor is known as the Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect is the tendency for a moving body on or above the Earth's surface to drift sideways from its course because of the motion of the Earth beneath it. Objects in the Earth's northern hemisphere will tend to drift to the east because of this, and in the southern hemisphere objects will drift to the west. This affects ocean and air currents more than anything else, and when we put together with them we can now see a complex but stable system across the planet. These combined factors take the heat at the equator and spread it all across the Earth. Because of how stable this is, certain environments appear along certain currents of this global system. This is why the western side of the United States features a much warmer climate than the east, and why the continent of Africa shares this very same relationship as well as the country of Australia, and the same is to say for the reverse with having the eastern side be colder and wetter. This is why we only see rainforests at lower latitudes and why we see deserts near the equator. This complex system involving the currents of both the oceans and air along with the rotation of the earth affects the planet to an extreme extent regarding the placing of environments. In the end, all of us owe the habitability of the places we live in to this system.